Hello, today I made the river. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's it's functional and it's pretty neat. Uh, so it'll just push the player and objects along. Uh, and it's physics based, so it affects your swimming as well. If I were to get a coconut and roll it in there, uh, same thing will happen to the coconut. You can still bounce off it and all that. Uh, and where I say it's not perfect, by that I mean the actual seams are pretty obvious from switching to the river and, and the actual lake. I tried to make this uh, triplanar as well so I could blend the two, uh, but unfortunately that doesn't work with the spleens very well. I couldn't get the math to work out right. Clearly not the right spleen. Okay, go in this view. But they are spleen based, meaning that uh, I can add to them as I go if it'll let me grab it. I sort of have a whole bunch of them here. Let me grab the dang spleen. Oh, it's the wrong one. That's why. Yeah, there we go. So I could drag it out, and I could curve it, and it'll curve with it. Uh, if, do you, if you make the spleen messed up, you get some funky looking textures. Uh, every now and then there's a seam along it too. Uh, I, think, I think it's like a slight difference in UVs or something. Right now I'm not the most concerned with that. Uh, I'm just happy that it's functional and working. I also made a few changes to the actual Whoa. controls, or movement. One of them I made is that you have a little bit of momentum after doing the cartwheel. I also fixed a bug that was causing the cartwheel to be really, really slow uh, if you did it super early. And I also made it so that you can now dive onto the branches, if I don't miss. And that would just be like a lot more fun to be able to dive into stuff uh, for certain levels where we utilize these. Yeah, it's a little bit faster too, which is pretty hype to see. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all that I had time to do today.